Steve, what happened there at the end of the half? They're calling some bullshit, man. That's all I'm saying. They're just trying to wonder why the league is losing money. That's why. They're going to pay good money to come watch it after this play. They're trying to take over the fucking game. Shaq, we're on live. I know. This is an epic and historic day for Los Angeles because Los Angeles gave up nothing and they got a big man who can run, rebound, think, catch. He is the anti-Kwame Brown. It doesn't matter because he's replacing Kwame Brown. And when you take it to the fact that you're replacing nothing, that makes you something, which is a plus. And that's the way to look at this situation. Kwame Brown, God bless him, is a scrub. He can't handle the ball, can't post up, can't do anything, can't play defense. The Lakers were struggling. They were mired. Mired, mired in complete disgust, knowing that they were on the brink of mediocrity anytime he was on the floor because he couldn't get it done. Not but Jason Kidd. The Shaq landing here in the desert is just all too perfect with what's going on in the world out there, especially with the USA 193 satellite expected to come crashing down to Earth any day now here. They now, shot it today. This is not the first time this has happened because approximately 50,000 years ago, a giant meteor came and crushed down in the northern desert up by Flagstaff in, in between the Grand Canyon. It was absolutely spectacular. And that's what's happened with Shaq just come crashing down in the beautiful beautiful great state of Arizona and when they also think about Shaq in Arizona you have to think of the Grand Canyon come on this place is so perfect you get there it's same so size huge and it's <laughs> just an unbelievable picture and example of erosion and that could